Let's talk about how a pager works. All right, so the way to think of a pager is it essentially receives a one-way text message. It cannot reply to the message or send a message on its own. A message is sent to the pager from a pager directory or via phone, and unless a callback number is provided, there is no way of knowing who sent the message. This is my personal hospital pager, so anyone can theoretically page me at any time unless I have the pager turned off. When I'm on call, the operator transfers other pager numbers to this pager so I can receive calls about trauma, inpatients, or patients in the emergency department. When I'm off hours, the pager numbers get transferred to an NP or PA or another resident. The side buttons right here are used to scroll through the messages when the message is longer than what can appear on the screen. The green button here pulls up the message screen or turns the annoying pager sound off when you get a page. The side button here and this red button are used to delete a message, change the date and time on the pager, or turn the pager on and off. All right, so let's send this pager a message and see what happens. All right, so here I got a message. As you can tell, I used the green button to turn that sound off. I'm gonna press the green button again and the up arrows to see what the message is. Here's my message here. The O1 stands for the first message because all my other messages I have deleted. I have a five digit number here followed by OMS, RE, Smith, and then a patient's MRN number. This is all made up information. So pager etiquette is to provide a callback number, which is usually a five digit number if somebody is located in the hospital. And this five digit number can be called on any hospital phone. OMS is our service, oral maxillofacial surgery. So I know who is paging me. And then regarding patient Smith, and this is the patient's clinic number. So this is proper pager etiquette. Now let's say I just got this number here as 54321. That means that it's probably a more urgent message and needs to be responded to. And just having that number, I don't know who is paging me or what they need. So always remember to use proper pager etiquette if your message is not urgent. Now let's delete this message because a pager only stores about 10 messages at a time. So again, I'll hit the green button here to bring up this screen with my message. I'll find my message and I'll hit this red button to bring up a screen of different options. And I will scroll to the delete message and hit the red button